where the child was. And when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. And then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And so it was that Jesus Christ, God's Son, came to earth to redeem his people and provide a way of salvation. Even though he came over 2,000 years ago, every time we hear the story again, the events seem so close, the people so real, it becomes a day just like today. God has always had a plan for this world, a plan so miraculous and so loving that at first we couldn't understand that in one single night the world had been changed forever. God had fulfilled every promise by sending Jesus to earth bringing truth and love to this world once and for all. On that silent, holy night, God proved that He loved the world so much that He sent His only Son so that all of us might know Him. We have gathered here in this place to hear the word once again, to worship the Savior, to revisit the story we know by heart, but which in the retelling strengthens and renews our faith. Just as on that night of wonder, night of joy so long ago when promises were kept and prophecies fulfilled, may our hearts be open this day to receive the gift of God's Son and rejoice in worshipping Christ, the newborn King.
On that night of wonder, night of joy, the long-awaited Messiah had come at last. But he hadn't come in the expected way. Where they had been looking for a mighty warrior who would lead an army, they found a helpless baby. Where they had longed for a vengeful leader brandishing iron and sword, they found a tiny child who would lead in love and gentleness. Where they had envisioned raging battles, they discovered instead a quiet stable where an infant innocently slept among the sheep and lambs. As the shepherds returned to tend their flocks, they glorified and praised God for all the wonders that they had seen and heard, for the joy of the miracles they had experienced in Bethlehem. Word spread to all the nations that a Saviour had been born, and His name was Christ the Lord. On that holy night so long ago, God's gift wasn't just for that one group of people. It was for everyone. It wasn't just for one night. It was forever. Jesus came to show each of us the way, to touch every heart on earth for all time, to touch your heart. As you leave this place today, May your spirit be filled with worship. May your heart be warmed by his love, awed by his wonder, and overflowing with his joy.